How's it going? Oh, hi, uh, my name's Matt Kroski. I'm Sean Wanaya. I'm Christy Wolfstein. And I'm Matt Fitzgerald. And our presentation today is going to be focusing on goat and sheep herding in Haiti and how livestock is going to rebuild the country. So how many of you remember the Haitian earthquake of 2010? Yeah. It was a horrible natural disaster and there was a 7.0 magnitude earthquake that happened in the worst part of Haiti. It, it was devastating, uh, huge death toll, and you know, as soon as people heard of the earthquake, they started taking donations. I remember even in my school, there were donations made for the Haitian survivors. And um, people really weren't focusing on the long-term uh, benefit of Haiti. So our solution, focuses on just that. We're focusing on the long-term solutions and how to actually help Haiti get back into the game and how to actually, you know, figure out how to improve as a country. So, what we focus on are the goats and sheep. Um, they provide sustainable farming for families as well as cultivating crops, breeding, and raising livestock. They also make great pets for the kids. Uh, kids can watch them as they, as they grow and it's a great experience for the kids to have and we focus on the cultivation in the small town of Fon Palmiste. This photo was actually taken in Fon Palmiste, and this is the happiest little goat ever. I just wanted to share that with the class. So. Okay, I'm going to discuss a couple of needs. Um, as far as agricultural reform, Haiti is in a point where they need to start being self-sufficient. Uh, this would include farming for themselves, which uh, these goats and sheep help them do uh, by the goats having, creating livestock and food. Uh, they also reproduce, which uh, adds more goats to each family, which will increase um, the, as you could say, the wealth of the family because they don't really operate off money, they just operate off what these goats can do for them uh, economically, which brings me to the next point, which is their economic status versus their overwhelming poverty. Uh, the poverty is a constant fight ever since the um, devastating earthquake really just put the country in shambles. So um, these goats give these families a chance to uh, raise money, uh, get other resources as far as um, food and education for their families and their growing children. Uh, the, these really, these goats really give these families uh, lots of opportunities to have a healthy, proud lifestyle. Um, in my, in our final version, I'll list, list off more statistics uh, as far as how these goats and sheep help these families. But um, as of right now, um, I'm just going to move on to the appeal for your donation. So throughout this presentation, what we need to keep uh, your focus on is uh, how these goats and sheep benefit these families tremendously and um, how it's different from any other economical situation around the world. Um, so just keep an eye on that and please give us your attention and consider uh, how uh, any small donation can help these people tremendously. Taking off from there, I want to share with you how this effort affects you as well as the people of Fon Pamis in Haiti. Every day we go to the store, we swipe our debit or credit cards, and now and again we'll be asked, would you like to make a one dollar donation? Would you like to help this charity? Sometimes it just becomes noise, sometimes it's just something we wipe away. But what this organization does is really goes after not just a quick solution. We're looking at something that can help the social structure, uh, social and economic structure of Haiti rebuild. I mean, even since the earthquake, there's been storms going through there, hurricanes, and it's something that just kind of becomes on the back burner. Maybe we can send some food for them. Not everyone gets the food down there. But by building this agricultural system, we are able to provide these goats to the men, women, children, families of Haiti. How we can do this, we can use social media. We have Twitter set up, and we get the information out there. Zaffin is a great website to look into through this organization. We're able to provide information on what's going there. 
And as of right now, the goal has almost been met for the money provided to the men and women maybe for these goats. It's a $1,500 donation goal. We are $75 away from reaching that goal, and what that will provide will be 22 sheep and goats to this country. This will provide a trickle-down system. By restoring their agriculture that they rely on, they will be able to build right back up slowly, but hopefully surely. And it all comes back to the quote. If you give a man a fish, he can eat for a day, but if you give a man a fishing rod, he can eat forever. So through your fair share donations at the click of a button, we are help asking you to provide Haiti with economic security. All right, so now you've heard a little bit about uh, the solution to this problem. And so right now I'm going to share a few stories about how the solution has been implemented before and how it has been successful. And now the first story was in another impoverished country, and that was Ethiopia. And this project was actually done by the Canadian Feed the Children. And what they set up was a loan system where they would give the community around $35 so they could purchase this um, specifically goats and sheep, and they found that this project was extremely successful. They uh, would be able to invest this money that they would get from selling the goats and the dairy products, and they would be able to put it back into the community and invest in other projects. So some specific examples from this Ethiopian village was this woman here, her name is Shibira Demena, and she was able to increase her income tremendously from herding. She started off just with the two goats, and they said within a year she had already sold three and she still had eight goats left. Um, another man named Tesfaye Abete, he was able to use the money that he um, got from goat herding and he put it back into completing his education program and also locals from this village all got together and along with their local government set up a village savings and loan associations group where they were able to help others in their community and starting new businesses and really just improve their living situation as a whole. Also, and now this is even more specific to our project, that goats have already been a successful part of improving Haiti. And they're really seen as a way to rebuild the economy and as a source of extra income when necessary. Um, there was a project that's already helped 12,000 families in the same way, so it really shows that this is, an, this is a step that is going to be beneficial and that if you donate to this staffing fund, your money is going to a really good place because we know that what this, these solutions are offering is not just hypothetical, it's not theoretical, that we, we have concrete information that this can work. Um, one specific story is about this little girl, her name is Kim Flore, and she um, was helped by the organization of Haver. And what she was able to accomplish was not only did she say that she loved raising the goats and taking care of the goats and it gave her a sense of responsibility, but at eight years old she was for the first time able to finally go to school because now her parents were able to sell one of the goats that they had raised in order to have the necessary funds to give their daughter an education. Also, when speaking to the uh, member of paper, her mother said that the goats were also necessary for their family because it was able to pay for medical bills. And so these were doctor visits that they wouldn't have been able to have before. And like I said, many families in Haiti have been helped already. So yes, this is uh, one specific testimony for this family, but it's stories that have been repeated throughout the country. Next slide. Next one. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so as you guys have heard from yoga presenters in the past, sheep and goats are extremely, extremely beneficial to communities. They provide, you know, can't what I'm saying, you know, uh, milk, uh, they provide uh, fur, they provide cheeses, everybody likes cheese, they provide meats, and they provide a, a sense of income, or, or they do provide income. So it, it creates brand new opportunities for people and it allows people to invest in different areas of Haiti which ultimately creates a domino effect. If you invest in this sheet and sell it to another person, you make some money. That person invests in the sheet and then he makes a little more, a bit of money. So it, it all works out and it benefits the community in, in a great way. Um, they give families resources that are beneficial to their well-being and it allows them to be self-sufficient. The sheep also make great pets. Who doesn't want a little baby sheep in their house? So, um, basically, if you guys go to zaffin.org, you can invest in this in this great, great opportunity for this country. It's helping them get back on their feet, and it's extremely beneficial. So, if you can hit the next slide, this is actually the Zaffin website, and as you can see, there's only seventy-five dollars still needed in donations for them to reach their ultimate goal and. Get the supplies that they need or the sheep that they need so it would be great if you guys could all take a look on there there's more information on the website and it's like we said it's extremely beneficial also if you guys don't have enough information up there you can also go to our twitter page at twitter.com slash goats for haiti there's more information up there and we actually shoot out tweets every couple of days and it's for a great cause so thank you guys